Gets, my colleague, is Hong Ming, Chief Executive of the National Parks Board, partners, community stakeholders, colleagues, very good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. Today's program is very wide ranging, from insightful keynote speeches addressing the issue of the illegal wildlife trade, to nature themed creative writing workshops and even art jamming sessions to design wildlife related posters. I hope that you all enjoy the array of activities. Heart for Nature is an example of how we can rally the wider community to support nature conservation. I would like to thank our Wild Neighbors Initiative, NUS Center for Nature Based Climate Solutions, and the Singapore Wild Action Group SWAG for making this possible. This year, the theme of Singapore Tiger Week is Singapore and Malaysia saving the Malayan tiger together. Peninsular Malaysia has lush rainforests, including those protected within the Taman Negara National Park. This is Malaysia's oldest national park and lies largely within the state of Pahang. In this regard, Pahang plays a key role in conserving Taman Negara's diverse array of wildlife. This includes the majestic, critically endangered Malayan tiger, as well as elephants, tapirs, and gauls. We are indeed greatly honoured to have His Royal Highness Prince Hassan of Pahang to grace today's event. <coughs> His Royal Highness is a strong advocate for biodiversity conservation, spearheading efforts to support the natural recovery of the wild Malayan tiger population. Since 2019, his Save the Malayan Tiger campaign has been pivotal in raising public awareness throughout Malaysia about the need to protect tigers and the forest ecosystems that allow them to thrive. And I would dare say the effects will help, help well, well beyond the borders of Malaysia, as you can tell from the community here in Singapore rooting for your campaign. He also worked with the Pahang State Government to establish the Pahang Wildlife Conservation Committee, which leads efforts to combat poaching activities in Pahang. Today, His Royal Highness serves as advisor to the committee. In April this year, His Royal Highness announced that Pahang will gazette a new nature reserve to bolster its efforts to protect the Malayan Tiger. When completed, the nature reserve will safeguard another 1,700 square kilometers of critical forest habitat for the tiger, in addition to the areas already protected under Taman. I think the comparison to the site of Singapore will give you a sense of the scale of the effort. Even though Singapore does not have wild tigers, we have a passionate community that supports tiger conservation efforts in Pahang and the wider region. Swag, one of the co-organizers of today's event, advocates for wildcat conservation through regular talks and lectures, but also bringing people back to the ground. It also raises funds for MyCats, the Malaysia Conservation Alliance of Tigers, which serves as a collaborative platform between NGOs and the Malaysian government for tiger conservation efforts. SWAG also actively recruits participants for citizen action for tigers, surveillance patrol tracks, or catwalks, at Pahang Sungai Yu Ecological Corridor. These walks help to deter illegal and destructive activities such as tiger poaching and rainforest clearance. In addition to the close ties between our country's nature communities, Malaysia and Singapore continue to strengthen our cooperation on biodiversity conservation. For example, our two countries work very closely together during the 19th CITES conference on the Conference of Parties for the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, we pushed for and obtained stronger global protection for two threatened songbird species, the straw headed oval and the white rump shark. In June this year, the Pahang Biodiversity Council and the National Parks Board of Singapore signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in Flora and Wildlife Conservation. This MOU strengthens our shared commitment to exchanging best practices in managing parks and botanic gardens, jointly promoting public awareness on biodiversity protection, 
and organizing workshops and symposia to build capacity and to widen our research initiatives. Here in Singapore, we'll continue to partner our community in habitat enhancement as well as species recovery work. Thanks to the community's contributions, we've implemented species recovery efforts for over 120 plant and animal species. And we've also raised our targets to restore and enhance our forest, coastal, and marine habitats. We also remain committed to the global fight against legal wildlife trade because a lot of transshipment comes through Singapore. And this illegal wildlife trade threatens the survival of endangered species and harms ecosystems around them. One key area of work involves raising public awareness on the need to tackle illegal wildlife trade and protect our planet's biodiversity. This includes regularly engaging industry stakeholders, such as the maritime industry, e-commerce companies, and financial institutions. We also reach out to the wider public through education programs such as webinars and exhibitions. In fact, in March this year, our Youth Stewards for Nature organized the very first World Wildlife Day Regional Youth Symposium and International Conference. 170 young people from across Southeast Asia and beyond came together to develop creative ideas to tackle the illegal wildlife trade and promote wildlife conservation in the region. At the same time, we must find ways to better coexist with nature. And this is what it means when we aspire to be a city in nature. To achieve this, National Parks works closely with our community partners to foster a better understanding of our wildlife and what to do when we encounter them. We've done a lot of planting, we've cleaned up a lot more of Singapore, bringing wildlife closer to people, but we've seen of late that sometimes the response isn't all very positive. And that means we have to up our efforts in terms of outreach, education, and understanding. The Our Wild Neighbors Initiative plays a key role in this endeavor. Since it was launched last April, our Wild Neighbours has worked with partners to reach out to more than 18,000 people to promote human wildlife coexistence and raise awareness about ongoing rescue, rehabilitation and release initiatives. Let me conclude by wishing everyone here a very happy World Animal Day and Singapore Tiger Week. Let us continue to work together, nurture an awareness and appreciation for biodiversity and to save life generations. Good afternoon. Thank you.